everybody. Welcome or welcome back to this video, to a video of mine. Today, today, <laughs> I'm building a new bookshelf. Look at that. I am building an IKEA bookshelf and I already have one, the exact same one, but I'm putting this next to the one that I already have because I have more than a hundred books and it seems like they don't all fit <laughs> any longer in that one bookshelf. So I have like a stack of books next to my bookshelf and I want to fit that in my new bookshelf. So that is what I'll be doing today. And um, these are the parts of the bookshelf and my beautiful feet. Can you see my feet? Yeah, you see, you can. These are the beautiful parts of the bookshelf. Then we also have some shelves actually. So we have to put those in the bookshelf. And now I'm just gonna build it and probably not have a lot of footage from that because my mom's gonna help me and she doesn't want it to be filmed. But I'm excited! I am super excited! So that's what I'll be doing and I will be filling in my bookcase, bookcase, bookshelf, um, as soon as I finish building it so that I will be vlogging. This is the current situation of my bookshelf. This is my Vespa, <laughs> my Lego Vespa. And then we, this is the situation. Um, yeah. So, it, my room is a mess, and then I have this stack of books right here. It's not even a stack any longer. It's just, like, books all over the place. And then I also have some books here and some books there, and there's another book, and I also have books at my dad's, so it is a complete mess. And I'm planning on cl cleaning up that mess, so I hope you're excited. <laughs> bookshelf there are some damages because we accidentally put the uh we had to hammer some things in i don't know what they're called any longer uh but we accidentally did them uh right in the shelf instead of on the planks so that was um, a mistake a mistake but for the rest it looks absolutely beautiful and i'm very glad that i got this one and uh, now I'm going to empty this one and just even it out a little bit over all the shelves. And uh, yeah, I'm going to empty it out now. <laughs> Is that a word? Because in Dutch it's Berg, so maybe, maybe. All right. Those are all the books. I also got some books here, so the these are them. <laughs> I just threw all of the books on my bed, as you can see. And now I'm gonna reorganize it, probably. But first, I'm gonna show this to you, this mess. Okay, so the first book that I placed on my new bookshelf is How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories. And I do not have the Crow Prince, the Wicked King, and the Queen of Nothing with me right now. They're at my dad's currently. Uh, but I will bring them to my mom's on Friday, so you will see in one of my videos how I put that right here, so that is exciting. <laughs> I honestly do not think I have enough books to fill both my shelves, but we'll see, you know. I'm just putting here. So first off, we have the Twisted books, and I think I am gonna put them right here, like that. That is beautiful, ain't it, ain't it? Uh, I'm gonna put them a little bit in the front of it because so there's backspace. If I have a load more of books, I can put them back here if I do not have enough space left. So that is smart thinking of me. Smart thinking. 
I'm also putting Neon Gods and Electric Idol on the same shelf, I think. Because I feel like they both have smarts, so they fit together, you know? <laughs> this is my top shelf right now. Uh, the Cruel Print series will be arriving soon and will be put here. But for now, we have this. And I truly think I do not have enough books to fill these shelves, as I said before. But we'll see later. To free up some space, I put my Vespa on a separate shelf, just above the, uh, the top one. So this has a whole shelf for itself. So that is also, maybe, maybe it will fit. Maybe it will fit. Of course, of course, here we have a stack of Colleen Hoover books. And they are November, well, reminders of him, November 9th. Uh, without Merit. Haven't read this yet, but I'm very excited to read this. Ugly Love, also by Colleen Hoover. Verity, uh, this is a thriller and it was very exciting, but it didn't scare me like at all. And then we have It Ends With Us, where it all started. So I am putting these like right here. Um, like this. Yeah, that's, that, that looks nice. Now we have some small hardcover books and the fun thing about this one is it actually had a printing mistake. So it went from page 180 to 150 suddenly out of the sudden and it was so weird but this is like a limited edition to me but I cannot read it because it simply isn't, I'm simply not able to read it because there's a whole part of text missing and it's so weird but it's also kind of cute, adorable, I don't know. And then we have The Dark Tide, super good book, Has Witches, and The Winner's Curse. And I didn't like this book, actually. I am putting those here next to my Colleen Hoover books. And then I think I'm going to put some accessories here so I won't have to fill it up with books. This is what we have right now. So we have Colleen Hoover. Then we have my small hardcovers. And I put, like, one of those uh, sideways, so it fills up a lot more space. And then I put some uh, fake plants here and a fake light. Can I put this on? Uh, I don't know. I will put it on later. But I think it looks very pretty, and it doesn't look empty at all. So we'll see. We'll see. So this is the current state of my other sh shelf, bookshelf. So this is the side of the new bookshelf and this is the side of the old bookshelf. So I absolutely love the series and I'm actually putting this book right here. So it takes up a lot more space and I think this looks very aesthetic. And I put a candle right here because I think that really fits the vibe that the series give me. Like reading by candlelight and it's such a good vibe. I am starting my Sarah J Mass section. So I have the Throne of Grass series, the not finished Throne of Grass series. I still have to finish the series, still have to read two books and then I'm finished. So the last book that I read was Empire of Storms and I didn't really enjoy it actually. So that is disappointing, but I'm putting them here. And the damage to the shelves actually were right where I'm putting the books. And now I have to find the Actar series. I found two books in the Actar series, now find the rest. Got them. I found them. Um, actually, a little bit of information. Like this book, five stars. Like this book, five stars. And then this book came along, and it was suddenly a three-star read, and it was just not good. There was a lot of war, and I do not like a lot of war in books. And then this book was just a disappointment. <laughs> kind of a novella, actually. Okay, so we're putting these right here. Does it fit? Does it fit? It fits exactly, exactly. So right there, right there, I still have some space left right there. <laughs> so I am filling up that space with my Good Girl's Guide to Murder books. And I have the whole series and the best book in the series was A Good Girl As Good As Dead. And promise me that you will read the series because it's so dang good. So I'm putting these here. It doesn't fit. It fits, but I have to put it the other way. It fits. <laughs> okay, so this is what we got right now. And it looks fabulous, in my opinion. 
But we have these books, and I seriously recommend these because this was a four and a half star read for me, and this was a little less good, but it was still so amazing. And I tapped this a little bit, and the romance in this series is so dang good. Wow. So we're putting them right here, right here. Oh, wow, they fell. <laughs> I am absolutely obsessed, let me tell you. Okay, so this is it now. now, And I think we're almost finished putting it in. This is how many books we have left. So those are quite a few still. There are quite a few still. So if I still have some books left, even when I finish putting them all on my shelves, I will probably put them where the Vespa is right now. And just place the Vespa <coughs> a little bit to the side, you know? Okay, I'm done filling the bookshelf in and this is a quick preview. It looks fabulous. It looks fabulous. But now a more in-depth view. We are beginning with the top shelf. And we have the Twisted series right here. Fifty Shades of Grey. Awful book. <laughs> House of Hollow. Electric Idol Neon Gods. This is a series by Katie Robert. Uh, Summer I Turned Pretty. L. Kennedy's The Deal. We Were Liars. Carve the Mark. Which I will probably replace once I have the Crew Prince series with me here. And then the King of How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories. And if you enjoyed the Cruel Prince series, I would definitely recommend to read this book because it has beautiful illustrations and it tells a little more about Cardinal's past and it's just amazing. Now we have my beautiful Vespa, my Lego Vespa. It took me literally two days to make and a few hours and <laughs> it was just amazing, but it was kind of a short work, but I loved it making it and i was kind of frustrated putting this on but that's not the point this is about the bookshelf so i had some space uh some books left so i put them here and this is gone girl I actually hated this book i guessed the plot twist from the beginning before i read the book i already guessed the plot twist so that was not the book for me uh, and then we have divergent right here i also have insurgent but i do not have a legend is it do not have the book because I know what the ending is and I do not think I will, could handle it. Now we have this shelf. And this one is kind of empty, but I really do not care. The plants, fake plants make up for it. So we have Colleen Hoover. And I personally do not have a lot of Colleen Hoover books yet because I just started reading Colleen Hoover. First book that I started with was It Ends With Us because obviously that is her most popular one. It's also turning into a movie. Then the next one that I read was probably Verity. Yeah, it probably was. And I was so scared to read that one, but it ended up being kind of anticlimactic the way that it wasn't scary at all. <laughs> and then Ugly Love, my absolute favorite, gave it five stars. <gasps> I forgot to include that in my five star video. Oops, 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 oops. Also heavily annotated this. As you can see, so I'm putting this on top because it's my favorite. Without Married, Haven't Bet This Yet, I'm very excited. November 9 was a good book, also annotated this, and Reminders of Him, which was sad, but not like a tearjerker for me. And then we have Into the Quick Place, Printing Mistake, <laughs> The Dark Tide, with The Winner's Curse, and Lost in the Neverwoods, which is a Peter Pan and Wendy Darling retelling, but somehow it didn't work for me. And then we have this, and I can turn this on, actually, and I will do that right now. Look at that. It's cute, right? So this is the second shelf of my new bookshelf. Okay, well, that was a lot of light at once. Now, we go to this shelf. So this is my Terry Muffy, I do not know how to pronounce her name, shelf. And um, I have the whole Shatter Me series. I have read the whole series and it was just amazing. Also read the novellas. Find Me and Unite Me, which are two novellas in one, two novellas in one also. And then This Woven Kingdom. And this was a little too hard for me to read, to be completely honest. Um, the writing style was a little bit too difficult for me, but I still enjoyed it and will still be reading the next book. And it is one of my most anticip anticipated releases of, of next year, I believe. Then we have the Stalking Jack the Ripper series uh, by Carrie Menes. Galco. <laughs> and it's just amazing. I cannot explain this enough. Um, this is about Jack the Ripper. This is about um, another story, but it's with the same characters. And this is also with the same characters. Another story, another story with the same characters. And the romance. There's romance in it too, and it's just amazing. Um, and the covers don't even bother me. I still think they're good, even though they have a real person on the cover. So that's good. 
Then we go to this shelf, which used to be like 10 minutes ago, a Sarah J. Mass shelf, but now it is a Sarah J. Mass slash Nina Varela, Varela, <laughs> whatever shelf, uh, because I did not have a place to put these books that um, actually could fit Iron Heart, so I just put them on a random spot, and that uh, just was this shelf, so guess what okay so this book was very good i get this four stars because i thought it was really good and then we have this book which disappointed me to be very honest and then the ending no 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 that was not okay so i will probably not be reading the next book this this series uh the court of thrones and rose the court of mist and fury the court of wings and ruin and a court of frost and starlight so this book was amazing this book was amazing this book was no this book was nah <laughs> um and then we also have A Court of Silver Flames, which I didn't like at all. I sold that. I didn't even finish it. Then we have the Throne of Glass series. I haven't finished this yet, but I will be finishing this. Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Hair, Air, Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms. And that is exciting because this is a good series, but I like the first book the best, which I usually do in a series. Um, but yeah, these these are pretty good books, and but they're pretty long too, and that is disappointing. Then we have Cries War and Iron Heart, and I rated these four stars, I believe, but they didn't deserve a four star because they were too difficult to read for me. Now we have this one, and this is just a random shelf of some random books. Written in the stars. This is a lesbian story, and <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Today, tonight, tomorrow. This is actual. Well, wait, wait. This is actually about a today they hate each other tonight they're allies and tomorrow maybe she has already fallen for him and it's just a, such a cool concept and I'm red white and royal blue which I actually didn't like so didn't even finish it like got 80 pages in and then stopped reading it. Now we have my Lauren Asher part and I also have another Lauren Asher book and that is <clears throat> The one right here, can you see it? You can't see it, but it's throttled, as you can see, but I'll put that back here. But now for the shelf. <laughs> Whoa, I sounded like a sheep. Now for the shelf. Define print. What a good book. And then this book was even better. Gave this one 4.2 stars, and the 0.2 stars was for the smut. Eeny meeny. Currently reading this one, and it's such a good book, but it's kind of the same thing every time, and that is boring me. Hearts of Fierce and Broken. Do not have a Curse of Dark and Lonely with me right now. Also at my dad's. Love in the Brain. This is a recent release, and I'm also currently reading this one. Book Lovers absolutely loved that. Beach Treat also absolutely loved it. Was even better than Book Lovers. And then Spanish Love, Love Deception. It was fine. It was okay. It was good. But it wasn't anything special. And then we have a good Ghost Guides and Murder series. And this was such it's a good series. And I already talked about it. So I will not be talking about it any longer. Uh, also some random books. Onyx and Ivory. Siege and Storm. Siege and Storm was a bad book. And I sold the rest of the series. But this one has had a personal message in it. So I didn't want to sell it. And then Onyx and Ivory never finished it, so this is very random. Uh, Deal of the Elf King. This is actually a very good book. I think I gave this four stars. Dance with the Fairy Prince. A little less good than this one was, but it was still good. Archer's Voice. Wow. Uh, I actually made a reading vlog about this. Please don't watch it. It was a while ago. And then The Ref and Dawn, The Rose and Dagger. Absolutely amazing. We Hunt the Flame. Also amazing. And I think these uh, three give off kind of the same vibes. And now we have Harry Potter and actually read all of them but not all of them in english and i sold the first two because i wasn't interested in rereading them but now i am so i'm kind of bummed that i sold them but it's okay so we just have some space left here i put a light on so you can see it a little bit better uh these are mostly fancy books mostly trisha laven seller books the Shadows Between Us. This is my absolutely favorite book of all time. Read it eight times. was absolutely amazing every time I read it. Veil of Secrets. Read this in one night. Also amazing, but wasn't as amazing as this one was. Warrior of the Wild. Also really good. Daughter of Surprise Queen. Daughter of the Sign Queen. Uh, these books are very popular, so you'll probably know what these are. Caraval and Legendary. I also read Finale, but I have that on my ebook. On my e-reader and do not have that of a physical copy a physical copy of that book but i will probably buy it so it matches you know then we have sorcery of thorns and this is the only book by this author i have left i have read 
all of the books by this author, but I sold the rest of them because I didn't like the rest of them. And Legendborn, and the second book will probably come out in November, and I'm very excited because this was a good book. I read this last year on vacation, more than a year ago, but uh, and I hope my opinion stayed the same on this book because I thought this book was a really good book. Now we also have kind of random shelf, sorry for the bad lighting. Uh, but the one, the selection to Kill Kingdom, The Silent Patient, was a very good thriller. Didn't expect the plot twist at all. Sky in the Deep, Kingdom of the Wicked, Kingdom of the Cursed, and I liked this book better. And this third book is actually coming out this month. So, at the end of the month, so I'm kind of disappointed it's the end of the month, but it's okay. Then we have The Kiss Quotient and The Bright Test, and I like The Kiss Quotient a lot. It has a lot of tabs in it, as you can see. Uh, really enjoyed that one. I will put that back under the pride test like later. Serpent and Dove. I loved, loved that, but I read the second book online and I did not like that one. Priory of the Orange Tree. I read this one and loved the story, didn't love the writing. Entwined, A Touch of Darkness, Touch of Ruin. I think uh, the smut evolves in this book but not in a good way since uh the relationship part is kind of forgotten and then the fight and night by bridget Cameron, also a great book but it wasn't kind of my thing now we have lucy scores things we never got over and i didn't like the main character Knox, so that was disappointing you know cinderella is that this book is an absolute wreck right now because it has a lot of damages but it's okay poison study gave this one 4.8 stars because I didn't really like the ending, but it was still a good book. And then we have Something Wilder by Christina Lauren, and this was just an adventure. It was actually an, an adventure romance, so love that. And then, as I said before, we have Throttled right here by Lauren Asher also, who also wrote The Fine Print. And Shielded by Caden Flanders. And I liked that book, but I read it in a reading sump, and I do, do not think that was the smartest idea I, idea I could have had. One of Us is Lying, one of the first books that I read um, when I started reading excessively, Wardrobe Malfunction. I just want to show you this cover <laughs> for a split second, because, uh, uh, yeah, you can guess what this book is about. Good Girl Complex by L. Kennedy. Uh, this is the same author as the one who wrote The Deal. And this was, um, I don't know what I thought about this book, but I remember that I didn't like it a lot and reminded me a lot of After, like, the plot was it basically the same. The Lunar Chronicles, the whole series. Wow. Um, yeah, you wouldn't guess it, but this book was over 800 pages. It is pretty thin for an 800-page book. <laughs> And Cress is, I think, 600 pages, but you wouldn't guess it, you know? And then we have Heartless, and this absolutely broke my heart. And uh, yeah, Six Crimson and Cranes, absolutely loved it. Queen's Assassin also liked it, but didn't love it. And The Kinder Poison. And those were all the books. Those were all the books. I think this looks pretty great, and it has some order to it, but it doesn't have all the books are not all in order and you know but it's amazing and i think i decorated it really well the whole bookshelves look really well and i am very glad i bought a second one i hope you enjoyed this making a bookshelf bookshelf tour kind of thing it was mostly a bookshelf tour hope you enjoyed it hope you're gonna watch more of my videos hope you uh, uh will enjoy more of my videos and for now i'll say goodbye and see you later